The way we do a foundation drain, an exterior foundation drain or interior foundation drain, is different than how we do a yard drain. We're going to build a foundation drain and take you guys along for the ride. We're going to show you how we create a soil filter zone so that you don't have to worry about sediment building up in your pipe. This is 100%. If you follow this for your exterior or interior foundation drains, you'll have great results. We're putting in new drain tile around an older farmhouse. We're removing all the trees that are within 70 feet of the house. That's my comfort zone. I know when a tree is 25, 30, 40 feet away, those roots find their way into the drain tile systems. We see it all the time. When you do what it is that we do, and you see that, when you see how full these drain tile are of tree roots, it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. There's all kinds of liability to having a tree close to home to begin with all the foundation issues that you end up with. We're gonna put in a really good outdoor drainage system. We're gonna follow right along the wall of the home. We're gonna dig down all the way. We're gonna go right next to the footing, put in a good drain tile system. We'll definitely document it. We'll take you guys along for the ride. I get asked about these all the time, how we would do these what we recommend when it comes to doing these. So you guys are going to get to see that firsthand. But first things first, get rid of the trees that are, you know, 20, 30, 40 feet. Get them gone, man, because they're going to take out your drain tile. It's just not worth it. You're going to spend all this money to fix the foundation of the house. You're going to spend all this money to put in new drain tile, a new system, and for what? For some tree to claim it? It doesn't take it long. These big trees, they will ruin drain tile on farms. Farmers will tell you, they don't want a drain tile line any closer than 75 feet to a tree. They'll take these trees out around the farms. They'll take whole tree lines out that are near the field that's tiled just so they don't end up losing in their investment in drain tile. All right, the guys ripped out the concrete. Our base is clay. We're down to our base. This house years ago, it was backfilled with sand because when it would rain, the water would just go down through the sand. Then it would just lay on the clay cap here. That was it, man. The whole house just got destroyed over that. There's no drainage system around this house. A lot of people underestimate the amount of damage water can do. So we are putting in a drain system. We're gonna get gutters put on the house before we start working on the inside. But the guys got rid of all that fill sand that was built up around the house here. All right, all these power lines, all these power lines feed the barn. They're shallow because there was an old footing here. We just dug through an old footing. You can see remnants of that old footing. Back in the day when they put this in, they were probably doing it with the shovel. And the 
water softener runs in this. Goes out to the septic field that's over here. We're gonna try to keep that intact. We're just gonna try to work around it. work up near the foundation it's got to be done by hand the guys are using a laser level they're doing a great job look at all the roots we're cutting through all these tree roots that's why you don't let big trees grow close to your house So all those roots are gonna find their way into your drain tile system. It's gonna be just relentless. You're gonna be exhausted at paying for service charges to get them out. And that's if your system's built with clean outs and it's easy to access. We get the system in, the tree service is gonna be back. Remove that big tree. Guys are doing a great job. We're going to be pouring concrete here and pitching it away. We're going to have two pumps here on two separate circuits. This house depends on us building a system that's foolproof. Now because we removed all the trees, all the trees are cut down and been removed. No more trees are gonna be planted. We're gonna put a couple inches of stone down. Then we're gonna lay our fabric in. Again, this is because we cut all the trees down and this is a foundation drain that goes around a house. So we're doing something a little different than we do in the yard when you're going through a bunch of landscape and you got shrubs and trees everywhere. You guys are doing a really nice job. Doing a beautiful job. All right, the guys continue to work on the soil filter zone. We're putting a couple inches of stone at the very bottom of this trench. We're doing this different than a yard drain. We're not winding through trees and shrubs and all kinds of landscape. You, know, you even got trees on your neighbor's side of the fence. You got to think about that stuff. We like to run our yard drains with the pipe at the very bottom. What we're doing here around this home, this foundation drain, we got rid of all the trees around here. We're not going to put any trees around this house. We're putting down a couple inches of three quarter inch round rock. We're going to put our fabric on that and then put our pipe on that and then fill it the way we typically do and do a burrito wrapped French drain system. Again, this is creating a really good soil filter zone. It's a nice luxury to be able to do this, but it, you have to have zero trees around.
they built up all that dirt, you can see the painted line in hopes to chase all the water away from the house. It had no drain system. This is why this house is in such bad shape. It had no drain system. If you don't have drain tile around your house, whether it's a basement, whether it's a crawl, whether you're on a slab, you better be way up on a hill. You better have some great elevation. We're using the eight slot high octane on this job. We're gonna double pipe it. It'll be twin piped. Double high octane. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful work. Beautiful job. This is going to be an outdoor sump pump since this house is on a slab. We got no trees around, but we don't have to air prune tree roots. So we're going and we're packing it in with this three quarter inch stone. We got a double pipe system. We got schedule 40 PVC riser for clean out. Obviously, that'll be below grade. All right, the guys did a really nice job. We got a twin pipe system in here. You guys are gonna have to bear with me. Kind of losing my voice. They've been working in a lot of shitty weather the last couple weeks. You just have to push on. That's the way it goes. All right, man, look at this. Nice twin pipe system. We just got it. Basically, that'll be sticking out of the concrete. It's a rubber cap. You guys did a beautiful job. Really nice job. As we're working to our, we're going to have a duplex, we're going to have two systems, and they're going to be on separate circuits.
up late last night. The guys got a lot done. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. Super deep. Super deep. We got utilities, all the electrical power. We're going to have to go under it. We're going to undermine it. We're going to be deep on this side of the house. Running the electrical for the pumps. We hauled out a lot of the dirt. We're taking this grade down. We're still going to pitch it, but we're not going to build it up. It's ridiculous. There's no need for that. This is ridiculous. All this dirt that was built up to try to chase the water away from the house made such a mess. We got a clean out right there. We'll go ahead and put a riser on that. Guys are working around the utilities. We undermined the electrical. We pulled the, the globe. We uh, wanted to be safe. Just in case we hit something, we did have Miss Dig come. It's underground from that pole to here. And the rest of it's not in conduit, which which really sucks because it runs right along the wall of the house. Here's a good cutaway. You can see how the guys put three inches of stone down. Then the fabric. Then we got two pipes with, you know, we, we got a clean out on the pipe that's on the inside. That's our main pipe. We got clean outs throughout. The guys will then add a few inches of rock on top of the fabric as well. This is how we do a foundation drain around the house. guys are doing a great job beautiful excavation they're having to dig really carefully as they're trying to work around the electric main hard to believe that this house never had drain tile, never had a sump pump system, and it never had gutters on it. So the water would just pour right off the roof, right on the ground, right by the foundation where there was no weep tile. It did a lot of damage to this home, and it's a shame. A good drainage system could have it could have avoided all the damage that now has to be repaired, high expense. You gotta prioritize. You have to take care of water. Water will cost you dear.
even if you can get your insurance company to pay for the damages, who wants to go through that? All the stress, it's ridiculous. The difference between an existing house and grade and new construction. New construction, the trench is dug, the utilities aren't ran, the septic's not hooked up. It's a clean, easy install. When you're doing the install and you have all these existing It really changes things. That's the electric power supply. That's the main. You can see all the tree roots from the big tree. Running into all kinds of tree roots. We're also putting the clean out in. We're putting a one way clean out for the uh, septic field because it never had one. So we got that right there. We're gonna put that in. You can see all the roots, all the tree roots. So if this had a drainage system, it would be full of tree roots because of that big tree that was alongside the house. Total waste of money all over a big tree. It's basically going to discolor your house. You can see all the green algae on this house. You can see what it did to the roof. You can tell I'm not a fan of having a big tree close to your house. It's just a bad idea all the way around. If your home is one of your largest investments in your portfolio and you care about your home, I wouldn't grow really big trees that close to your home. They belong, like that one's fine, 70 feet. Obviously there's a couple maples back there, they're off into the distance. Got another maple over there, that's 80 feet. That's where big shade trees belong, not up near the house. entire job was done with a laser level the guys are working this laser transit we're gonna drop the grade there's been too much dirt built up around this house for years so that's why we're hauling out this dirt it's not gonna go back in We'll put rock in, you know, we'll put our fabric, we'll put our pipe and rock, our burrito wrap, more rock, some sand. So this tree right here, it's 30 feet away. Nothing but roots. Guy's been cutting through roots. See, here's a really big root here. Had there been a drain system in already, it'd have been taken out by the roots.
All right, we got a lot of work done. Catch you guys up. Show you what it looks like. This is a beautiful drain the guys built. Beautiful drain. They did a really good job. A lot of hard work. That's the clean out for the septic system right there. You know, again, I like to mention one way, one way guys seen guys have a two-way here and then end up spraying water out of people's toilets so one-way clean out on these septic lines is what I recommend we got the power to the house on top of our French drain another clean out for our French drain not that we'll ever need it just buys a peace of mind Another clean out. Now we're putting stone on top of our burrito wrap system. So again, we got a few inches of stone and then fabric. Then we have a ridiculous amount of stone and pipe. 
in our burrito wrap. And then we're putting more stone on top of our burrito wrap. This is how we do foundation drains around homes. This is how I'd recommend them. And again, you can see all the tree roots from that tree that we took down. Tree roots, tree roots everywhere. I mean, it's just horrible, horrible. That's why every time I see a big tree next to somebody's house and I have to do work, I know I'm going to find roots in the system. And sometimes you can't get nothing through it. The drain is completely solid with roots. I see it so much. So for that reason, I share with you my wisdom and my knowledge because over, over the years, I've seen a lot. Beautiful job. Guys are doing a beautiful job. A lot of work. This is the end of the second day on this job. So we're going to come back tomorrow. We're going to clean the wall. We're going to clean it really nice. We're going to go ahead and put liquid rubber on it. Seal it up real good. It's a shame that this old house didn't have this drain from the beginning because it'd be in fantastic shape. What a peace of mind right here. What a peace of mind this buys. We had a five foot piece of fabric on one side. We had a six foot piece of fabric on the other. And then we still have to cut fabric and put it on the top. So that gives you an idea how much stone we got in here and just how big and bad this drain is. It's no joke, man, it's no joke. guys they already hauled away a lot of dirt the dirt was built up all the way to here because there was no drain system there was no sump pump there was no gutters so they built it up hoping to chase the water away
but they built it up with sand, which it wouldn't have been a bad thing to build it up with sand as long as they would have clay capped it. But because they didn't clay cap it, they didn't gain anything. And basically destroyed a perfectly good house. It's a shame. If you found any of this information helpful, give us a thumbs up. It supports our channel. If you have any questions about underground buried downspouts, leave them in the comments section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until that next video.